Hello everyone, this is Gali. Welcome to another episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to learn how to draw ears as requested by a person. And this time we're going to try making mammal ears on reptiles, which works, even if it doesn't sound like it does. So first I thought we should start making the, the head, just looking sideways or something. It could be any dragon really, like we did Haku in the last video. It could be a wolf kind of thing, or just a simple, typical dragon. I'm gonna make the opacity a little higher. Wait a second. Here. So I don't know, we have our dragon. And the thing is, we want to know how to place the ears. And in many animals, it's, uh, well, it's very common that they have their ears above their eyes, right about here, for many, many animals. The only difference would be that the, some predators can only move their ears in a certain way, and prey animals that are usually herbivores, they can move them in many, many directions because they need to be aware of hunters. But that's not true for everyone, like for example, I don't know, serval cats, or... Mm, mm, let me think of another animal. Foxes, perhaps, and wolves, they can move their ears back and forward to channel the, the sound. And deer, for example, can move their ears, they're really wide, and they can move them around, so they can detect whether there are any, um, well, hunters around. So that's the, the, for the function of the ears. So that's important to consider what kind of ears your dragon will have. Just so you know like why you're drawing them. Just so you don't draw them just because. So in this case we're going to draw fox ears, right? Try to think of the ear as a triangle shape in this case, not in every single case. Try to think of it like a cone maybe, a triangle. The details can come later, but for now, try to think of it like this. So we can probably make him bend his ear a little. So you will have your, your cone, kind of thing. Like this. And draw the base. And, and try to like feel in the details on your ears. So this would be him getting, I don't know, prepared. Maybe angry at someone. I know the expression doesn't match that, but we're going to play around with the ears. You can pause the video right now to grab this and learn from that, because I'm going to erase. Other thing could be him with the ears like this in a positive uh, kind of way. What do I mean with positive is that he's not upset, angry or chasing anything. And ears, like expressions on people, can talk a lot about an animal or what, what he's feeling. And in dragons you can make many many expressions just by changing the ears and maybe the eyes or something, but the ears help a lot. So here we go with our shape. Now the difference, it could be here, like, like this, or if we were aiming for a different um, expression, we could have the ear facing this way. And I'm sorry, but my Photoshop is a little laggy right now. And I'm not happy with the, the lagginess. I'm gonna close some apps to see if it works. Mm -hmm. oh, I think it's working better. So you can make the, the ear face this way. And where should you put the other ear? That's, that's one of the common questions. Well, if this ear is here, and you can imagine the, the head being a sphere, and I'm sorry about the lag, guys. This thing is it's not helping me. You can imagine this sphere, and if the ear is here, the other ear should be somewhere around here. So you can probably do, again, the cone. It will look smaller, and it will be facing that way. It will help you to think in perspective. As if it's looking that way, and you have a sphere. Right? And let's say the face is looking this way. I know we're drawing dragon ears, and right now it looks like a fox, but don't worry, it works for every animal. As I tell you in every single episode, reference. Reference is the key. So imagine we have our face, our ear, and I'm gonna quit everything because this is seriously annoying. 
Ah, my references are gone. Sorry, I had the chrome open with animal ears and my Photoshop is still not helping me. Okay. Well, behind that, let's imagine we have our ears here, on top of the animal. And we could draw like this if you were pointing them back, because he's looking to the front. So this would be the ears looking back, not on top. If you did this, it would be wrong, because you cannot see the whole top of the ear if you're looking at the top of the head. So that's something to have in mind. This would be back. This would be the back side of the ears. As they would be facing that way. If you wanted to draw the ears facing forward, you would probably only see the tip. It would only be something like this. Like this is a tip. It looks like eyes. <laughs> he has eyes on the forehead. These are the ears looking this way, if you were looking at the front of the animal. Well, this is the top of the head for an animal. Well, what about a dragon? You want a dragon to have ears. So, let's just make a, a, a real dragon head now. <laughs> the other one looks too much like a fox. Imagine he has his horns. And... I don't know, his nose. And Photoshop hates me, so don't worry about that. There are many kinds of ears you can add to a dragon, as in anything. So, you can have ears that look like membranes. I'm gonna draw them and you can copy them, but I'm going to explain them so you don't just copy it and feel like you didn't get anything. Okay, so membrane ears would work well for reptiles because they can swim and they, they help. And they have holes in the side of the head, so this is a hole, and you will have this, which you don't have in any other animal, and that looks really cool in a dragon, in my opinion. This could also go all this way, you can play with this, that's the fun part. You can pause the video to grab this ear, because I'm going to erase it again. I love erasing things, as you can see. So, this time we can make, for example, this ear. Yes, we cannot do this with the ear, it would look strange, and it would probably intervene with the horn. So what do you do in that case, when you think you cannot draw your ear? Well, it's the same concept, oh, I erase this, you just grab <clears throat> your ear again, but this time you will do here, like parallel with the eyes, you know where the base of the eye starts, and where the mouth ends. This is just a suggestion, it doesn't have to be like that, but if you did an ear that looked like this, well, there is a problem there, he won't be able to open his jaw and then, well, you see the problem. So the ear has to stop in the top part of the skull. And it will probably look like this. And if you, you've seen many designs on the internet, you've probably been aware of many other kinds of ears, and, well, I'm going to draw some of them. I'm going to move this here. Okay, so this time we're going to raise this ear. And let's think of a different ear. This time we can do a long hair like ear. It's it's fine. It fits. I've seen a character drawn like this and it looks awesome. Of course you, you can have well Something that looks according to your design, right? Like if your character has four, fur or, I don't know, feathers, or like the character I said, which belongs to Shinrai. Um, well, it would fit. Because it makes sense, right? Like this kind of ear with a creature that probably has fur, and feathers, and, and, and it's fluffy and it looks great. It's like a bunny. Like, that could also work. And, yeah, you just try to think why you're creating the ears you're creating in your characters before you make them. I know it's fantasy, but some things have, well, a certain why to them. You can experiment with as many, many ears as you want. Like, you have this, but you can have fur on them. You can make 
longer ears like this reference is the key don't just copy my video go ahead and look for some pictures of real life animals not drawings real life animals and copy them understand why they're shaped the way they are because so i cannot draw every single ear and if you just copy this you won't have as many references as you probably need so it's all fun if you can google that now we have the internet now so go on grab some ears so you can have many many kinds of ears as i already said my character has a very thin ear because it fits in his um in his head that's galidor if you don't know him i will show it to you let me see if i can mm, nah. again photoshop hates me guys so so slow oh you see they where are his ears where are his ears let me see i think you cannot see it at the moment because my computer hates me but if you can see this i don't think you can but if you can see this you can see his small ears and they're behind his horn and they are on top on the this side of the head okay if you cannot see that i'm so sorry but yeah my computer it's making fun of me today okay so aside from photoshop hating me i'm going to talk about the different positions of ears so we're gonna erase this so we're gonna draw a, f a head of a dragon a very rudimentary kind of head yeah <laughs> okay see so you, you get that it looks like a chihuahua i have three chihuahuas so yeah you can see the inspiration right there this is him looking to the front so looking at the back of his head this is him looking at the top and with the laggy photoshop i cannot draw and i'm sorry this this thing sucks and well this is him looking at the top and this is him looking at the front it's a very very simple drawing but it's really easy when you do things this simple to grasp the idea of what you want to draw much better i recommend you do that with your characters try to draw them as simple as you can while you can still understand their shape and you'll see how easy it becomes so we're going to try some ear shapes remember you can do as long as you want like this could be one kind of ear this is another kind of ear a cat ear you can even make them floppy like dogs but they would look really strange in a dragon why well i don't know they look weird and you can do lizard kind of ears which they are non-existent it's just a hole and it looks like this and well what else you can make many 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 different ears you can experiment you can have fun you can do anything you want, like you can see which animals I'm taking this from, I hope. For example, tiger, and so on, right? Y you get the idea. <clears throat> this time we're only going to grab this ear, maybe longer, for the example. So imagine your dragon has horns, and he has them here, and he has them here, and this here. So where will the ears be placed? I will change the color for easy understanding. This time it will be purple, because purple is awesome. So, we will have his ears facing the side of his head, and the other ear will look on the back. Remember what I said, if your ear goes here, on the other side as well, okay? I'm trying to, to explain that. Maybe it doesn't look so clear, but you will understand. If you have an ear facing this way, Try to, to measure by hand, by uh, by side. You don't need to actually measure that, but just... I don't know one is bigger than the other, but that's fine. Like, try to get that idea. And this is looking forward. It could be like this. It could be different, right? You don't have to just copy this and, and be done. You know. Grab the idea from here, but go ahead and practice. It could be having them like this in a playful manner. And I, I bet you probably seem toothless if you haven't 
What are you doing here? Go watch it. How to train your dragon. Yeah, how to draw your dragon is based on that. <laughs> so, let's draw Toothless. He's a very funny creature. Like, he's a very funny head structure. And I'm gonna draw a little sketch of him. It's not gonna be that detailed because he has scales. And I'm, I'm not gonna reference, so if I am missing some of his horns, I'm sorry. His horns look funny. I don't know if they're horns or their wings or their... Well, not wings, sorry. Ears or horns. They, they look something like, like this. Like, they're funny. Okay, so maybe I'm missing one of them. I don't care. I'm just trying to show you something. They kind of look like ears. They may be horns, I don't know. But they flap, so they're ears. This isn't a perfect example of a non-traditional looking ear. Like that, it's a strange, very, very strange ear. And he's a very strange looking toothless, but who cares. He looks cute. These are interesting ways of drawing things. So, if you're looking for reference and inspiration, go find different dragons and try to understand their structure and where their ears are placed. And I know, maybe <clears throat> I'm lacking some things. If you want to give me some comments, I will take them in, in mind and maybe add them to my next video. For now, I hope you enjoy this video and learn something from it. Keep on drawing, keep on practicing, and I really, really hope you keep drawing dragons. That was all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.